In today's health headlines, how many times can you catch COVID? Teens in distress are flooding pediatricians' offices, and more of those at-home COVID tests are available by mail from the government. Joining us to talk about all this and more is Dr. Arjun Venkatesh, Chief of Emergency Medicine Administration at Yale Medicine and Associate Professor at Yale School of Medicine. Doctor, welcome back. Hi, thanks for having me. Great to have you. So many are wondering, how many times can you catch COVID? What do we know? We're hearing multiple infections. So COVID reinfections are certainly possible, just like many other viruses we've had in the fast past. The common cold you can get a reinfection from. I think the important thing to know about these reinfections is that they tend to be very mild. Whether you've had a prior COVID infection in the past or whether you've been vaccinated in the past, if you were to get COVID again, your body and your immune system are ready to fight it. And so what we're seeing is when people do get these reinfections, they're very mild. They often don't result in hospitalization and that people recover quite well. All right, uh, doctor, the New York Times is reporting that teens in distress are swamping pediatricians offices. It's so heartbreaking. What can you tell us? You know, this is one of the really sad parts of the epidemic that doesn't get enough attention. Uh, teens were struggling even before the pandemic. And one thing we know about COVID-19 is that it has impacted the mental health of people across the age spectrum from the young to the old. Teens are particularly vulnerable to this by being more isolated, more lonely at a time in their lives when they tend to be very social and really count on a lot of those social interactions, particularly with their peers for their social support. Those kids now find themselves with few places to turn for mental health services because we've always had a shortage of pediatric mental health capacity and access in this country. If you as a parent, a grandparent or a friend or family know a teen around you that may be struggling, the important thing is to talk to them ask about it and try to help them find any help they can get. Even if it isn't a specialist, many pediatricians are ready and turning their practices to be available to these teens around the state. All right, and doctor, another round of those free home COVID tests are now available for every U.S. household. Remind people what to do if they test positive with one of these home tests. Should you then seek a PCR test? How should you behave? Yeah, so first of all, go get some more tests. COVIDtest.gov, I believe, is the website where you can request some more. These tests are home antigen tests. They work very well at telling you when you have symptoms of whether or not you have COVID-19. They're not perfect like a PCR test. So if you think you have COVID-19, you use a home test and it comes back with a negative, you may still want to get a PCR test to be sure that in fact you don't have COVID-19. On the other hand, if you get a positive test at home, you can be sure that you should isolate, mask, do everything that you should as any other time of the pandemic to prevent further transmission. You don't have to go get another PCR, but it does make our statistics better when people have those tests formally acquired. All right, and quick last question. You're seeing a sharp increase in traffic fatalities. You're an ER medicine doctor during the pandemic. Is this true? Yeah, for 14 years across the nation, we've seen fewer traffic fatalities and fewer traffic crashes. That has spiked and changed for the first time this last year. I see it in the ER every day. And we think it's because the pandemic has changed a lot of people's psychology. Yes, we're on the road more, driving more because people are afraid to use public transportation or be in other congregate settings. But it's also that the psychology of the pandemic has made people more reckless. People are drinking more, people are driving faster. And unfortunately, that we see that in the ER as more crashes. And so it's important okay. to be cautious out there and be careful with your mental health. All right, Dr. Arjun Venkatesh, thank you. Thanks.